great new episode of The Home Group for you this week. Now let's take a look at the house performances. Good evening, Sadie Nations, and welcome to your tube, the fortnightly source of video goodness. You know, George, I only have four words to describe this week's video. America, Fox News, and bears. Let's take a look. A few minutes later, the bear was spotted behind this home in Moreland Hills. This recreation identifies how witnesses say the bear escaped into the woods. Nick, can we say that again in slow-mo? For sure. This recreation identifies... You know, I can't really tell if that was a real bear or not. So convincing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. They did a good job. Yeah. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back our favourite celebrity chef to the program. Let's see what Ainsley thinks. And the tomatoes are just beginning to blister slightly. That's perfect. Thank you, Ainsley. I guess that's it for today's episode. Tune in next time for some more YouTube goodness. I'm Nick. And I'm George. Thanks for watching. I'm uh, faster than a bear. Uh, hi, I'm Laura, Captain Aerobics, and this is Emma, Vice Captain. We have aerobics competitions this weekend with the dance on the Saturday and aerobics on the Sunday. It would be great to see as many nations out there to come and support the girls for their first competition. Hope to see you there. Thanks. Report, the you. sports activity report. That's why we're being re-ramped and now we do activities as well. What a great um, addition to the sports talk. Anyway, hello and welcome to the sports activity report, the only sports activity report that reports sports and activities and name is hard to pronounce. I'm Daniel. And I'm Annie. And today on the sports activity report, send us activities, may as well start off with an activity. Cheers. Vice Captain Max Schneider, what do you do, Ernie? He won a game. Congratulations, Max. But his qualification should be mentioned. But yeah, but he still showed up for the yeah, game. It's better than what I did. Yeah. yeah. We didn't show up. Yeah, no. Anyway, how soccer is next week? You know, the first match is between Xavier, uh, not Xavier. Campion, Campion and Costco. Campion and Costco. We all know who's going to win that one. Yes, Costco. Campion. What? Campion. No, Costco. Uh, anyway, the second game is between Xavier and Regis. Yeah, and once again, no, he's going to win that game. Xavier, Regis. why do you do this to me? It's I'm obvious. Sorry. sorry. It's obviously going to be Regis. Anyway, that's it for the Sports TV Report. I'm Daniel. And I'm Annie. You stay classy, Xavier Nations. Thanks for stopping by. Indonesian cultural and language tour is scheduled to take place in January of next year. Miss Lombardi is looking for two more potential participants from year 9 to 11 to make the trip viable. If you are interested, please see Mr Lombardi as soon as possible for more details. I mean, you don't even have to be an Indonesian student to go. So go and see him if you are adventurous, interested in exploring different cultures. Anyway, now it's time to go over to Eliza talking about our music captain about cabaret. Hi, I'm Lisa from The Home Group and I'm going to be going around and interview cabaret members. What ensembles are you going to be doing for this year's cabaret and what style? Um, I'm going to be part of the Year 12 band and we'll be doing mainly funk songs from that band and stage band which will be doing predominantly jazz and concert band which will be doing a mixture of old 20s swing and pop. Um, for this year's cabaret, I'll be involved in stage band, senior concert band, senior vocal, and year 12, um, year 12 jazz ensemble. 
Well, we've got, um, I personally, I'm conducting the concert band doing a bracket at the beginning and then the stage band are doing three brackets of songs, a couple on their own and a couple backing some singers. Out of ten, how important is the cabaret to the musical year? Uh, probably about eight, probably nine out of ten, I don't know. Hello and welcome to Max Facts. Let's see what's on the facts this week. What's the deal with paintings? Well, have you ever had the feeling that a painting's eyes are following you when you walk past them? I know I have, and it's not because I'm insane. Anyway, I have an explanation for you, so all you sporter dyslexicardophobics can sleep easy tonight. Yep, that's a real word. Now, I suppose you think I'm going to say that all art is communist. And you're right, it is. But to a further extent, all paintings are in fact aliens. Yep, aliens. How you say it? Well, you know canvas? Well, that's made of two things known as cams and vas. And this vas is in fact a race of entirely two-dimensional aliens. That's right, they came down to Earth in their frame spaceships and mounted themselves on your wall simply to watch humanity for no reason whatsoever. That picture of a baby holding what appears to be a dog while it sits in a hat box in a pink room with little dollies and lights and things? Alien. So the next time you need a new decoration, try a safer alternative. Like fax paper. Costs $3.99 on Craigslist. Thanks for tuning into the home group this week. Don't forget, tonight is the much anticipated college cabaret. Next week, we have the Year 8 Grandparents' Day, so be on your best behaviour. There's the Year 12 drama performance on the 11th of June. And finally, don't forget that the Queen's birthday long weekend from the 7th to 9th. Once again, this has been The Home Group. I'm Ash. And I'm Ali. And thanks for watching. See you next time.